Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsosti, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where we replace belts with trains. And as promised last time, we will tackle a new setup for all our circuits. And I think the blue ones, that's the first to go because we do not have uh, too much in here in terms of um, of uh, products, items that are stored up. So first thing we will do is um, disable the uh, input lines. So no new items are delivered. And then if we look at the setup here, especially down here, we do have full chests of green, but no red ones in here. Um, and that's basically the same everywhere where we are uh, adding items to, to the thing. And here we are missing uh, pie pitch. And we save that in any manner. Let's do it this way. And that should somewhat get rid of uh, the things here. And we can take a blueprint, this one, we uh, designed two episodes ago. Copy that in here. We don't need this one. And then basically we can place in everything here and set this up um, like it should be. I think overall this setup has a few assemblers less than this one. But if we can then have a constant... Um, constant uh, production going on because uh, uh, we have the throughput here uh, through the chests a bit differently uh, that might actually be more efficient in the end. So let me set this up and then the next step is probably unhooking uh, this green circuit facility uh, so we can rip this part out and have a large green one here uh, then we can also decommission that one and up here I can have a red one so I think this episode will be quite a bit of uh, repetitive uh, tasks and uh, probably quite a bit of uh, uh, waiting and time passing until we have all the, the materials and, uh, and items because as you can see I already run out of the long-handed inserters um, wooden chests are also gone pretty soon. I can craft a few more um, and I can uh, deconstruct all the trees here that should give us a few more chests um, to have here. But yes, it is still largely a question of uh, how many items do we 
do we have available uh, for this to work in the end? So I think uh, once this first set is done, uh, we can can have another look. I should then also already have set up all the factories, the circuits, the stations and so on. So we can switch over the trains from above here to down here. And I guess the uh, uh, pickup trains, they will have to go from uh, these stations up here to the lower ones because we just don't have enough uh, materials produced up there. And with this setup, we have quite a few assemblers that go into uh, one pickup station. So there we should also be uh, better on, uh, on this end. Right, so see you in a bit. At least the setup of the first factory is done. And as you can see, uh, I have removed one of the, the lanes here, which makes it quite a bit more spacious. And we have in the middle here uh, our um, liquid pipes for the sulfuric acid. And I would imagine with this setup, you could then even do something like this, have um, have more assemblers going here on this side and then somehow uh, bring the whole thing together. Uh, up here, um, we are still in the process of uh, producing some of the, the blue ones, um, these trains. don't seem to want to be loaded up. Um, oh. Blue ones on the stack to uh, 200. Good to know. So that would be an issue. Here on the top, I could already remove one set of platforms so that when we go over here, we can see uh, the uh, upper part. We have somewhat uh, removed. Yep, all ingredients are gone. Down here, we still have a few things going. So we will send them back. Um, And here we have quite a bit of uh, wires surplus, but we can deconstruct this and deconstruct that, deconstruct this. And then once the, the trains are gone, um, we can also um, deconstruct the rest of this top line. Um, we can even get rid of this. And with that, then we have this square empty and uh, we can pull in or add another 
factory like down here for the red for the green circuits which would then mean we can get rid of this one and at that point I'm hoping we can clean out this square and have the red ones over here and the green circuit factory is now also done and as you can see the first train has already arrived and is producing output there um, what we might see is that our inserters are just not fast enough to distribute the, the items uh, through here um, I mean on the bottom line we could have fast inserters uh, on the top line not because we have this this crossover and uh, that would not work out but as we have the iron here and we need not that much iron um, we should be okay but we will see and we will improve as we go along but now that we have this factory set up uh, let's actually unhook uh, the delivery here and uh, there and then we can wait for this to run out um, while keeping an eye on uh, the new factory and do improvements there like um, the moving forward of the uh, of the uh, of the lower line because here we can basically replace almost everything with stack inserters that should help moving the, the copper wires along and uh, that should allow more factories um, uh, to be uh, producing currently we have we have three three well anyway it's one more than the old setup so it's an improvement anyway but I think I need to craft myself a few more stack inserters the red circuit production is now also in place where once the blue one was and if we take a peek at the production over the last 10 hours for the green uh, circuits we can not really see much of a difference or impact uh, to before and we will come to that in in just a minute but if we look at the uh, other two uh, for the red ones we see that we have a, a spike and that spike is higher than what we had before now we are going down uh, again but I think overall we can produce more and uh, for the blue one uh, there we are a bit all over the place but I think uh, we are producing a bit more than in the past and what's most important we are producing more than what we consume so looking here towards the green circuit production 
um, we see that only the first few machines, maybe the first four, three to four, get enough uh, uh, iron so we can actually produce the circuits. And I uh, would imagine that further down the line, we can improve on that by uh, one thing, uh, researching stack or, or the, the inserter cap stack capabilities. So for example, if we double uh, the uh, stack size, then we should also double the amount of assemblers that are provided with, um, uh, with items. Then we can also add in productivity modules, which produce more on input, but slow the thing down. Uh, and we could even uh, replace the factories, the assemblers with the basic assemblers assembling machine one, which craft at um, two thirds of the speed. So these are all things that we can do with this setup uh, in order to get more output uh, or get more machines running. And of course we could just place down a second square of these. That's it for today and I think next episode will be an interesting one but uh, I don't want to uh, foreshadow too much. You just have to uh, tune in to see what it is about. So don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss it and I will see you then. Goodbye.